guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be uh, talking about investment pieces and styling up investment pieces in multiple ways. Now this is a continuation from the video I made last week, which I will link in the cards above. It was about the Kate Scarlet cardigan top which was a hefty price tag, but I found it was a really great investment piece. So today I'll be talking about the Kate Ista top, and this top has been with me for in my closet for about slightly over half a year now, so I feel like I can do a proper in-depth review. And I really, really love this piece. I know the term investment can be a little bit iffy because it's not exactly an investment. I will not be selling this, so I definitely will be keeping this for years to come. And I feel like this is such a classic piece that is super timeless and really easy to style. So first off, we can talk about the price tag of this top. It is $860 and it's actually a size medium. And Kate tops actually do run really small. So a medium size was perfect for me. I really love this top because I could pair it in so many ways. I've had this top in my closet for almost half a year now and I can still wear it through the summer and the winter months. And I can still wear this throughout the year, which I really love. Um, I can wear it in the spring, summer, fall and winter such a versatile top. There's also another version of this, which is the long sleeve version. And I thought that this would be a little bit more versatile because I could wear it in the summer and spring months as well. So first off, we can talk about the design of this top. I can't really find any dupes out there that has this specific shape and cut. And if you look a little bit closely, there is a ribbed detail on the boob area. And compared to this other top from Babaton, so if you realize the ribs don't create like a dart. So I think the darting on the boob area here, it really does cinch in really nicely. Compared to this dupe over here from Babaton, the rib details just run vertically straight down. So it doesn't really create a more flattering silhouette for those who want a little bit of boost. So what I found that because of the darting detail on the bustier area, it actually does create more of a booby effect, but not like too much. Um, I don't need to wear a bra with this and I love it because it's a pretty thick material especially if you were to wear it in the summer months. You do not want to be wearing any extra layers underneath so I find that this is actually pretty good to wear even without a bra. And what I really love about this design is the heart shaped sweet neckline over here. I just think it highlights my decollage really nicely. I love my collarbones, so I love how this top actually highlights this really well. I also really like how the sleeves over here, it does come off the shoulder just a tiny bit, and it just brings out more of your collarbone. And if you look at the waistline over here, you can see that it tapers down the waist. And compared to this Babaton one over here, the sleeves are attached to the top. So you, do, you don't really get that um, off the shoulder effect. It is quite like attached down on this side over here. So yeah, this is why I really, Love the cake top, so enough about the design details. You get the idea that it's hard to find a dupe. Um, I mean, there is a bunch of ripped tops out there, but I feel like this is the most flattering to my silhouette. Okay, so this first outfit is a very simple all black outfit. 
And I paired the, this top with a pair of leather trousers. I feel like the ripped material of this top works really well with a textured trouser like this one here. I really like mixing different textures of blacks together, especially in the winter time. Everybody in New York here always wears black, so I like that New York uniform, but with a twist. So these jeans are from a Goldie, and I'm just pairing it with my little cute wallet and chain. And I think this is a very comfortable, easy date night look that you can easily wear to the office, but you can also wear for a nice evening out. Now to winterize this look, I would just pair this with a blazer. This is just a simple black blazer. This one is from Babaton. And I really like the layered look. Okay, so this next outfit is a little bit more girly. I love pairing this top with girly skirts like this one from Dior. This is one of my favorite skirts in my collection and there is no words for this. The print is just too beautiful and I really like how this top is very dainty like so it pairs really nicely for super feminine pieces like this skirt here. And I'm also going to show you how winterize this outfit with this look. Okay, so we have this Chanel blazer that I just topped off with. And I think this just completes the look, especially for these colder months. So you can see how versatile this top is already with, you know, a spring-like, spring-summer-like outfit and now this is more of a winter outfit so i also had to just so this is the next outfit that's super similar to the previous version but i really love this skirt and this skirt is from Erdem. i feel like dark florals are definitely an in thing right now so i am always into classic trends if those two words ever do go together but I feel like this skirt is definitely a classic piece to have and also so happens to be part of a winter trend this year. I really love the combinations of the dark purple with the black on this color top so I like this combination a lot and I like pairing this with a white Chanel. I think the black and white is a really nice contrast so this is how this outfit looks like. Okay, so this next look is definitely leaning towards more of a winter style. So over here, I have a new coat for Max Mara. Still has the tags on because I'm still deciding if I will want to keep this or not. But I do really like this piece, especially for layering because it's such a basic color and it is a really tight fitting top. So over here, I'm just pairing it with a super oversized jacket and I feel like it does balance out because of how silhouetted the top is and you just like put on an oversized item over, it doesn't feel very overwhelming. Um, sometimes I feel like chunky sweaters paired with this jacket might be a little bit too much, but I feel like this is like the perfect balance between the two. So I have this paired with a flared out jeans. So this one's also in my wardrobe. I really like this high-waisted jeans. I feel like it, it, it's just very figure hugging and it just hugs all the right places. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this outfit? Should I keep this coat? What do you think? All right, so with that, we've come to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite look and if you would purchase this full price or if you're looking into the dupe version. I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!